Hey guys, this is Spectrify. I'm going to teach you a tutorial on how to do um, a muzzle flash effect with blowback. Okay, let's get started. And this is with Windows Live Movie Maker. First thing you want to do is you want to get your video. I have a lot of videos in case you haven't noticed. Okay, this is my starting video. Okay, and I'm not able to do that part. So, first I'm going to um, something. You're probably going to have your own full film here. And some other programs that you're going to need are GIMP and Paint. Let me just check over. Oopsies. Checking over my trim. Okay, so that's what you got there. And then you're going to go through. You're going to find all the frames that you shoot. So then you go back to the frame and you pull the trigger. That'll be right there. So my muzzle flash goes off right there and you hit the split button. And I'm only going to do one, but obviously it has multiple. And this is for the video I have up on my website. Or on my account. Okay, so then you're going to go down and you're going to go... Well, actually first you're going to press the um, screen button on your keyboard. Press that and then you're going to... Um, go down to paint, hit just the paste button, and then you have that. Then you're going to want to hit the rectangular select button and go down to your movie button, your movie screen that you have here. You're going to want to select that rectangle. Oh, wait, no, I messed up. Okay, well, I kind of messed up on my screen thing because it had something up here. Okay, so then you just press screen again, because I messed up. Make sure you don't have any, like, menu things in your um, window there. Okay, so you're going to go to paint. Hit the paste button. There we go. You're going to hit the rectangular select. And you're going to try to get it perfect. With that, as perfect as you can. That's good, and then you press crop. Okay, and then you should have this. Now, this is for blowback. If you don't really care if it has blowback or not, or you're doing a machine gun or whatever, you can skip this step in entirely. Blah, sorry. Yeah, so you can skip this step entirely. But since I am wanting blowback with this, I won't do that. Okay, so then what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go to brushes, make sure it's connected under your thick brush there. You're also going to want the size up to maximum. And then you're going to hit this button right here. I don't know if you see it. It's like the little dropper tool that you can use to get colors. I'm going to click it right about here. So whatever color that is, it's the color you're going to use and then you paint over. And in the spot that you clicked it's the exact same color but it doesn't have to be the exact same color and this is just kind of going over and perfect it later. Plus, it's, you're only going to see it for two frames in the video, so it's not going to really matter. Six tenths of a second, okay, so that goes there. And I'm doing it under, like, just a normal background. If you're doing it under a different color, you see how it seems to have disappeared from your view? From your view, that looks like nothing. If I zoom in, you can see it. But other than that, you can't really tell. 
Okay, so once you've done all that, you've done all that there, then you get the do dropper again, you go to the back of the gun. Oops. Actually, I'm going to undo that because that'll look really bad. Okay. Then it looks like the thing came back and we're not done yet. Then you get... I use this silver color right here. That one. The cursor's on. That silver color up there. I use that and then click that obviously and if it's still on the thickest then I go to the line and I make lines there. Wait. Undo and then my size wasn't all the way gigantic. So then you just make lines. You move them and do all that stuff before you make the next one. You make another one. Keep doing that until it's relatively the shape of the barrel. And remember, it does not have to be perfect. The perfecting, there's a little more later in GIMP, so... Okay. Okay, so that's my finished product. That's what it'll look like at the end. And realize that it's not perfect. And then I save it. This is going to be called Muzzle Flash 1. Muzzle... Muzzle Flash 1, save, then you go into your GIMP, this is my photo editor, you could probably use Photoshop and stuff, file, open, Here's that, you click that, and you open that up in GIMP. Oops. And I like putting it on half. You hit open again. And I got my muzzle flashes from... There you go. I got my muzzle flashes off of Google Images. Get the ones with the complete black background. Those are the easiest. Okay, then. Now, once you're in GIMP and you've got both of these... Like file, no. You go to color, color to alpha. It's this one. In the bottom, color to alpha. You click that, and then you click your from blah to blah, and you click your dopper, and you dop that. Okay. Then you hit okay. And so then that's what it should look like. That's what it should look like all at the end. Is that. And then you put that. Okay. And that's what you have then. Then you go up to edit. Copy. And you go on edit on your gun over here. Hit paste. You have that. And you're going to need to what my picture is. I, I need to rotate mine like that. Rotate. I have to move that. Click the move button here. I like to keep it on a thing like that. So it should look like this. And scale it. Scale, move it here, 
I like to keep the muzzle flash as far on. So that's what it should look like at the end. Then I like to anchor it down, but anchor and then you blur it, smudge and whatnot. Do all your little edits and such there. Blur that and okay, so I did that and that's what it looks like now. I know I was doing it fast. Hit file, save as. Then I called mine muzzle flash one. I don't really care what you call it. And then I'm calling this one muzzle flash one for movie. Save. Save. Okay, go to Windows, and you have split your video. You go to the end of this one, and you go add vids and photos. That's what I call them, videos and photos. Okay, then you want to go back to your pictures folder. It's easier if you keep it in a folder, a single folder. It's just much easier to do that. Okay, muzzle flash picks. Muzzle flash one for movie. Okay, so that's what it looks like there. And in here it already makes them seven. You're going to want to hit point oh six. No, actually not the letter O. Point zero six. When you hit that, you hit enter, and so it'll only be for two frames. So when you watch it, it'll go like this. See that? That's what that looks like. Okay. And then you're going to click home. And this is your choice or not. But it sounds much cooler if you go to... On your... Go to Google and type in gun effect or gun soundboard and look for sound and go to the website called sound effects now if you go there you will find a whole bunch of different gun sounds now I and you and they're free and you can download them I use a G18 pistol shot okay and so I'm gonna go over to make sure I have it timed right and honestly I do hate how Windows Movie Maker it's so stoppy and stuff, so. Okay, got it perfect. Okay, so that's what it's going to look like. You've added your sound and everything. Okay, so those that's the sound, and then I'm going to have that. And then I added a title and stuff. It's your choice. Save the movie, call it whatever you want, blah, okay, so you call it whatever you want, okay, so that's what you're going to want to do, okay, and when you finish that, make sure you go everything, and if you're adding these sounds, since it considers it music, you have to finish editing and stuff on your video before you add your sounds, okay, so that's how to make a muzzle flash tutorial with, or that's how to make a muzzle flash with blowback on Windows Live Movie Maker. Yet.